welcome back to Brutal Arc. Guess what I logged into? The sound of war drums. And that can only mean one thing. That I have been chosen for an attack. I, um, I was a little confused because this should have uh, glowed red. Um, but then I had a look at it and I must have, I must have turned this off or something that's um so that's a shame it would have been nice to show you that that lights up red um let's get prepared for the attack let's get the thylers ready Whew, i hope i hope we haven't gone into metal I'm, I'm pretty certain we've gone into stone because of the raft, but I really hope we haven't gone into metal. You keep turning around. What is your problem? All right, let's get group one and put you all on neutral. these guys in here um get you following that guy why did these guys turn around it's odd maybe it was when i whistled uh neutral maybe they all faced me for some weird reason. I don't know why they would do that, but it's a possibility. Nice. All right. I think we are ready. I hope they spawn in a good spot. If they spawn up there, we are fucked. We are absolutely fucked. Um, in case that happens, I think I should try and pull aggro away. We should get these guys outside. Oh, it's down that side. Come on, guys. Get out. No, what are you... Oh, they're flyers. All right, we're going to get up there. I'm glad the greenhouse is glass. Oops. Fully jumped off. It is stone tier. Because we've got Tapaharas. There we go. Gotta get him off that wall. Level 300s they are for us. That poor Thyla down there can't do anything. Pelagornis. Everything looks alright. I mean we're they're doing a bit of damage, but I I think we can we can hold them off. They seem to be fairly weak. Is. Oh, they got the fucking you bastards! They got my compost bin.
I wonder why they chose this spot up here. God, those Tapaharas have been a pain in the ass. Every time I get close to them, they just fly off. Like, nah. Alright, I got you. You're dead. You're dead, punk. Yeah. See if we can get that guy as well. Serious? Alright. See if we can get these guys. Alright, see if we can bowl this guy. Get him on the ground. Yeah, nice. Got him. Yes. Is that it? The smoke as uh, the fog fading away. It is. The music is fading away. We win. All right. Let's see if we got any arc. We got one arc out of all of that. <laughs> That's fair enough. Um Flyers have the, the least uh, amount of chance to to drop uh, arc bars because I don't uh, I don't think the flyer attacks are very fun. So I try to encourage people to build in a place where they would get um, where they would get uh, land dinos. So land dinos have a, a much better chance. It was good. We we won. Um, honestly, they they just annoyed me. <laughs> they, they weren't as um, as strong as I thought they were going to be, which is good because that could have been that could have been very annoying, to be honest, because they were in such a difficult spot. I need to get spike walls up there. That's what I need to do. I'll stop them. Probably not a good idea jamming this guy in here, but... Oh, well. What do you got on you? I'll take that. Actually, I'll take all that meat as well. I'll put it in the feeding trough. Oh, you've got an arc bar on you. Awesome. Looks like these guys were cleaning up the bodies of the ones we were killing. Uh, I don't really care about any of that. What have you got? Nothing. Alright, so I think we got a total of two arc bars. God damn it. That's alright. Beautiful. Alright, let's consume these. We win. Let's go have a look. So, totally, uh, so, so far there's been 37 purifications on the server. We've been chosen once. And we have one regular victory. We killed 10 brutal dinos. Very cool. All right, so next time that happens, like, because we've got this activated, it should, it should work. It should glow red if we, uh, if we get chosen. Oh, that's right. Yesterday I was making some, making some gas. 
we can turn that on. Oh yeah, I gotta fix the uh I gotta fix the fucking compost bin. Guys, there's, there's lots of little bits of damage everywhere. It's gonna be a mission to repair it all. Run. Oh shit. Oh my god, that was. Whoa, holy shit. They didn't get out. Damn thylers. We need to put them in a better spot. Somewhere we can get them out quickly. Oh, that guy is up there. He's doing damage. Nice. God, what level is this guy? He's doing some damage. I hope that other thyla is okay. Oh, 1350 Rex. Oh, shit, you are. Oh, you nearly died. Holy shit. My god, that was worse than the brutal attack. <laughs> Fucking 1350 Rex just strolls in. God, that could have been so much worse though if he landed inside this wall here. Oh my god. Imagine the damage he could have done. Alright, cool. Let's uh, rebuild what we lost. Grab some foundations. Uh, I'll tell you what, seeing as we're in stone, <laughs> we should probably just start fucking building out of stone. Lucky we had the Thylers. That, uh, that 1350 Rex could have done some serious damage if we didn't have the Thylers here. The brutal attack was just annoying because they were just doing little bits of damage on all the structure everywhere. Alright, so I'm going to wait until morning and then we will um, carry on with the rest of our day, I guess. <laughs> okay, so I just wanted to check how much footage I had and I think we're going to have to do something else. <laughs> Because um, I've got like just under an hour of footage, but most of it is just me repairing the base and placing down these foundations. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to look at moving. Now that we've had our first attack here, I, I feel good now. And I think um, I want to move somewhere else. So let's take the raft out and scout out some locations. We'll take a... Oh, actually, no, let's take the Megatherium. Because there will be less stuff that will want to attack me. Alright, so where are we moving, you say? We're moving to the swamp. I did a swamp base uh, a little while ago. Fuck, I forget what series it was. And it was so much fun. I loved it. The sounds, the danger. It was so good. 
As soon as you leave your front door, you're in danger. Awesome. So we're going to have a look at the swamp in Ragnarok and uh, see if we can find uh, a good location to build. Yeah, I don't think this is a very pretty swamp, unfortunately. I've seen I've seen better ones. Can't get through there. Can we get through here? So have to take out this tree. Yeah, I think we need to go in there further. This is pretty barren here. I don't want to live here. There's, there's not a lot of scenery. That's a pretty cool spot, but um, we're surrounded by fairly deep water. And the... Brutal Ark will see that when it tries to spawn dinos and it'll spawn flyers instead. And I want to try to avoid that. I want to... I prefer land dinos for the attacks. I think they're a lot more enjoyable. So we need to go somewhere where it's a bit shallower, but it has scenery. It's pretty tricky to find. I mean that's a that's a good chunk of land to build on. I think that's that's pretty cool, but Yeah, it's just the the water's is a little bit too deep. And there's a lot of it. So it'd pretty much be flyers all the time. What about in here? And this is the reason why I put all my dinos up on the second floor. So I can go over these like rocks and shit and it doesn't knock the uh, dinos off. Just got to watch the trees. This looks pretty good in here. There's a fair bit of land around. I don't mind building on the water. I think that that'd be pretty cool. Pretty cool aspect. And we've got a lot of room here, so we'll be able to expand and I think it'd be pretty good. Yeah, you can see where the deep water starts. It's over there. So this would be a pretty cool spot, I reckon. Pretty cool spot indeed. Alright, so the way I'm thinking of doing this is... I'm going to place a temporary claim patch down, which will give me three hours... So I can set up a um, a small defensible area and then I can transfer all the stuff over and then that way I've got somewhere safe to put them. Yeah, but this is cool. Like there's lots of trees and stuff. Like it, it feels like we're in a swamp. Yeah, so this would be good. Um, so we're actually, we're, we're closer to the desert here, which is what I wanted. And we're also close to our final location, which I want to build in the canyons up here. But yeah, we can, we've got a straight shot down to these islands that I like to go to. And we can go across to here for uh, Thylers. And a good thing about being in the swamp is we'll be able to get Titanoboa eggs uh, relatively easy, 
We just put the collector down. It'll just collect them all. We, we don't even need to tame any, so it'll be good. And then we can get perfect tame uh, Thylas. Maybe start getting into breeding them. All right, cool. Yeah, I think I think in that uh, in that spot that we found, uh, that'll be a good spot. Good spot to build. So I'm gonna head back to base and uh, and get ready, I guess, for the move. We're gonna be building out of stone straight away. I don't want any any wood for in there. All right, so today is moving day. This was um, kind of a spontaneous decision. I had planned to move to the swamp, but not this quickly. I think I think we're ready for it. I mean, sure, we didn't get the dynamic gate in. There's a lot more we could have done with this place, but I think it's time to move. Was this like episode 16 or something? Oh, uh, yesterday afternoon, I got back and uh, there was a 300 diesel bufo in the taming raft. So <laughs> I tamed it up. I thought, why not? Um, okay. All right, how are we going to do this? I think we're, we're just going to take the Megatherium over to start off with. Um... We're going to need a claim patch. We're going to need a bunch of foundations. Um, so basically my, my plan is to put down a claim patch. I already had one there. I'm an idiot. Um, put down a claim patch, get a perimeter set up for like the the largest possible area that I can secure and put uh, and put walls up just so nothing can get in and then at that point we should be able to transfer the dinos over we'll get all the all our resources and everything and put them on the raft and then oh that's a good idea we could actually build all the pieces over there because we've got like uh, the crafting station on the raft and, and everything we need. Yeah, that's an idea. Will the transfer gun work from this distance? I don't like that you can't sprint with the, the gun out. Wow. It did work. Okay. That'll make this a lot easier. So let's put everything onto the raft. Um... We'll leave the base set up. We need to leave the threat suppressor down because otherwise if we pick it up and it starts scanning, we're going to increase our multiplier, which will make our threat go through the roof. So we definitely don't want to do that. Um, so we've got a fair bit of stuff in there. We've got some stuff in here by the looks of it. Oh yeah, my fur gear that I was going to do. We'll get around to it one day. Let's put all that in there. I got a Pteranodon saddle for some reason. I guess I was going to tame one at one point. Wow. I'm, I'm actually quite nervous. This is, like, it's pretty risky. A lot of stuff can go wrong here. Oh, one thing that's going to be an issue is the fact that we can't place any sort of claim area too close to another claim area. So the fact that we have our um, our mobile claim area on the raft, like we're gonna have to park the raft really far away, walk to the spot where we wanna build, 
and then place our claim patch down. So that's where the me Megatherium is going to come in handy because I don't think there's a lot of stuff that will actually aggro a Megatherium in the swamp. Just need to turn that on so I know how far away I need to park this thing from where we want to build. So we want to build in there, don't we? It's in that section, I think. Yeah, it's up in there. Um, we should be able to... I think we should be fairly safe to park around here. Well, not safe, but... I mean, distance-wise, and then place the claim patch up there. Possibly. Jesus, it's really dark in here. Probably because it was crappy weather. Um, okay. Let's make some foundations. See how we go. That's not what I wanted to do. This is so scary. <laughs> Alright, Capros look okay. The only thing I'm not 100% sure on is Sarko's. Oh, piranhas will definitely bite me, that's for sure. Okay, where was it? Honestly, I think we just knock all these trees down and start going right here. There's a snake in here. I think this is, I think this is all right. All right, which way do we want this to face? So we're going to have to build entirely from Megatherium back. <laughs> um, what do we got? One, two, three, four, five, and six. All right, there it is, and we'll just put this guy down there. All right, so we're going to grab the walls, and we'll get the walls up, and then hopefully we'll be secure. Oh, except for snakes. Snakes would be able to get over too high walls. So we might need to put some ceilings out. To stop them from coming over. Uh, what do we need? Like four more? I'm not sure if they can climb up the gates. To be honest. I don't think they could. 
but maybe that's something we should probably look at. <laughs> Shit. All right, so this load we we need to replace the replace the um, claim patch with the the claim block. So it means we need to pull down the base that we have. The very last thing we pull down is going to be the threat suppressor. Actually, second last. The very last is going to be the uh, claim block itself. All right. See what's in here. Nice. I need that. Shaz was a Shaz was a saddle. All right. Uh Ooh. We can't put you guys on the roof this time. Um, fuck, I think you guys might be here by yourselves for a little while. Let's grab you, you, and you. Possibly you. See if you guys fit. Alright, this is good. Um, we might be able to fit a couple of the thylers in here as well, which would be good because the stego is going to need a lot of fucking space. We're going to have to come back for the stego. Um, we've got the Beezle Bufo that we need to take as well, and we'll take a couple of the thylers. I don't know if it's done a scan or not. I haven't seen it, but I haven't been up here, so... Hard to tell. Uh, let's just demolish everything. We'll make a new one. Alright, let's go. think we got them all. All right, I'm just going to park this right up here. Okay, I think that's good enough. Uh, let's get the torch out because it's quite dark here. Of course, we can't go up that side. Is that on manual? It is. All right, cool. So we should be able to just walk these guys straight across. Yes, awesome. All right, the claim block is down and that's the area we've got to play with. So looks pretty good. All right, now we'll have to go and get the raft back again. Um, there you are. It's so fucking dark in here. What time is it? 8.30. And we are in the swamp. Officially. Officially building in the swamp. Shit. Get out of the fucking way. 
You suck. Let's get this down. Um, should we place it here? Yeah, fuck it, we'll place it there. Let's have a look at our threat. Um, oh yeah, we're not going to be able to see shit. Well, that should be, that should be fine now. Oh, um, at the moment, if you pick it up and place it back down again, turn off your, um, perks and then turn them back on again, because otherwise they don't work. They bug out at the moment. I'll have that fixed in the next update. But that is going to do it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, don't forget to lead your targets, and I'll see you next time.